What's happening, people? How's everyone? Um, I'm still getting over the disappointment of last night. Or should I say the early hours of this morning? Um, I'm a big Kell Brook fan, as you guys know. So it was just um, it was just disappointing to see him crumble like that. right? Especially when he started so well. Started so well. Gave me false hope. Gave me false hope in those first two rounds. I was like, oh, here we go. Again, I never thought he was going to win. I never predicted that he would win. Like, as much as I'm a Kelbrook fan, I'm a big Terence Crawford fan as well, and I know what Terence Crawford can do. So I didn't think he would beat Crawford. I just wanted him to do well, right? Just do well. Take it to the late rounds. Maybe even get a points loss, right? I never thought he was going to win. So to see him um, get stopped in the fourth like that, disappointing. All right, before we talk uh, about that, we are going to talk a bit more. I know I've done a video um, straight after the fight, but we'll talk a bit about what next for both and et cetera, et cetera. I want to, um, I want to give this away, a Samsung Galaxy watch. Um, or is it, what's the full title? Samsung Galaxy Active Watch. Um, now I got this, it's brand new. I've not, I've not even, I actually have opened it to look at it, but never used it or anything. Um, I got this with my Samsung S, what have I got? S20 phone. And I just don't need it. I don't need it. I've actually got a watch like this. So I don't actually need another one. There's no point me just trying to sell it on eBay or Gumtree or anything. Um, so I want to give it away to someone, anyone. So um, I'm trying to think of a, a question. By the way, I'll post this anywhere in the world. I know I've got people that watch this channel all over the world. So it's not just for people in the UK. I'll post it anywhere. I'm trying to think of a question. I'm related to boxing. All right, let's think of a question about, okay. Um... So I went to Leighton Sixth Form College. I studied A-levels. I failed all my A-levels. Not proud about it. Just true. I did fail all my A-levels. Um, what three A-levels did I take? First person to correctly answer it, um, I will, will win. Will win the watch, sorry. Uh, what three A-levels did I take? I'll give you one. IT. So I done duh, duh, and IT. What are the other two? Uh, first person to answer correctly wins. That It's a nice watch, by the way. Like, I'm not getting rid of it because I don't want it. I'm getting rid of it because I've actually got um, an Apple watch. So I don't actually need that. But it's, it's a very nice watch. Um, so, yeah, first person to answer correctly win that watch. If you are based in East London, the winner, and you want to just meet me and pick it up, then by all means. If you're based in London and you want to meet me and pick it up, then by all means. But anywhere else, I'll post it out to you um, as soon as we have a winner. All right. Um... Let's quickly, let's, in fact, let's have a drink. Let's have a drink. It's been a long day. Let's quickly talk about the fight again. Again, we touched on it yesterday. We don't need to, or yesterday, this morning, we don't really need to touch on it again too much. We've all seen the fight. If you haven't seen it, I'm sure you've seen the highlights of it now and you know the result. Um, Kelbrook was doing good in rounds one and two. Very good. In fact, I thought, okay, he's beating Crawford to the jab. Even landed a couple of good shots, a couple of nice right hands, a good uppercut as well. Um, started to bruise up Terence Crawford's eye. And then Terence Crawford from round three onwards just started to go into that tool bag, make adjustments. And um, that was that, right? I initially, I think last, I keep saying last night because I've slept and woken up. But initially this morning I said um, it was a jab. It was more of a short hook. It was almost like a fucking Bruce Lee one inch punch. Brooke kind of went in. They both went in at the same time, but Crawford was just faster and sharper and shorter, and boom, that was it. That was it. I'm still, though, even though it was a good shot, don't get me wrong, and, you know, as you're going in with your momentum, you're, you're, there's going to be more force because you're going in as well. I'm still shocked that punch had that much effect on Brooke. Can't lie, I'm, I'm uber shocked. Like, I've watched it like a hundred times, and I'm like, it was a, sh it was a, it was a shot, but it wasn't, it wasn't anything super powerful. I know timing beats, I get all that kind of stuff, but I'm still a bit shocked by that. And I don't know that's effect of just you, like your career coming to an end. Like you, you're a bit, you're a bit shock worn. I, I don't know what that is, but um, it was disappointing to see. Very disappointing. Yeah. And then even when sort of Terrence put it on him, I, I just wanted him to throw something. So when Terrence was landing uh, and the referee uh, was coming in to stop it. I wanted to just throw something, like do something, man. Didn't do anything and in the end, obviously we all saw what happened. Um, I don't know where um, Brooke goes from here. I said decisions, decisions on the thumbnail 
and there are decisions to make. Um, he's 34. I think 154 is an awful division for him personally. I think they're just, they're just too big. They're too big and they're too fresh, right? I mean, Kel now has suffered damage. People know now that once you put it on him, he doesn't really have a plan B. And I just feel like they're too big. Um, people might talk about a couple of catch-weight catch weight fights, maybe, but um, just don't, like, he made two million from that fight. I say he made two million, you know how it works. Your tax man takes, what, 40, 50% of that. You know, you pay management and whatever, so probably made, I don't know, around a million pounds or a million dollars, whatever. I'm so disappointed with that fight. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know where he goes from this. It's going to be a tough one. Because again, he, 154 is too, two guys are too big, too strong, too fresh. There isn't many guys in a 154 division in terms of marquee names to fight that have a lot of damage on them, like serious amount of damage. Let's not forget, Kelbrook's got two orbital bone fractures now. He's 34 as well. He's not like a young spring chicken. Um, and now, oh, I don't know, man. I don't know, 147, people have been saying, oh, Amir Khan, Amir Khan, who wants to see that fight? No interest in that fight whatsoever. None, none. Like two damaged, like damaged guys that got both embarrassed by Crawford. I don't want to see that fight. I have no interest in seeing it. Both of them, Kel, Khan should definitely retire. Kel should really consider retiring as well. Like, it is what it is. Uh, you know, I mean, not everyone, as much as like I say, oh, he's going to be disappointed in how his career has ended up. I mean, not everyone can get past British level. Not even everyone can get past European level, right? Let alone world level. He was a world champion. Had some good fights. Um, four, four elite fighters. Um, lost to three of them, beat one of them. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. He's obviously going to look back, as I always do with Kel, just because, again, I am a big fan. And the what ifs always spring to mind. What if you had those fights over sh uh, after Sean Porter? What if those fights weren't the fucking Jojo Dans and the Frankie Gavins? What if you were in real fights? What if you were seriously focused? What if you lived the life the best you could? What if, what if, what if? He's, he's going to have those. Because I have those. I have those for him. So there's no doubt he's not going to have them. There's no doubt. I know he was... Very cordial after the defeat and him and um, Crawford were talking. But there's no doubt in his mind, he's not going to think, what if I fought Crawford at my best? What if I was the best um, Kell Brook? It's going to play with him because it's disappointing to see how it's ended like that. That, for me, is far really disappointing to see him. If this is his last fight, and I think it probably will be, for him to go out like that, it's just disappointing for me. Again, especially when you consider he started quite well. For him to just be almost put to sleep with a fucking little... I don't know what to call that punch, by the way. It looks like a short hook. A punch that I think he would have taken a few years ago. Not anymore. I would love to speak to a strength and conditioner because I say things like, oh, it's nothing to do with the weight cut. I don't know. Probably, probably has some impact on it, right? probably has some impact on it as your punch resistance is less when you try and really dehydrate your body like that. Must, must be something in that. But yeah, he's stuck between two weight classes and I think his career is over personally. And again, I'm a massive fan saying that. Um, um, Crawford wants a Pac-Man next. That's the fight he wants next. Um, yeah, we'll see. I, I would have preferred him to say Spence, but I think Pac-Man financially is still probably a bigger fight. And I think right now, well, even Crawford's 33. Right now, you do want to chase those checks, right? You do want to get those mega fights. And I think he just thinks it's a fight he can win, then maybe the Spence one's thereafter. Um, I wouldn't be shocked as well if he takes the Pac-Man fight as a free agent. So he takes more of the pie, right? You don't need, Crawford doesn't need a promoter. Once you get to a certain level, I don't think any boxer really needs a promoter. You just have to have a relationship with a broadcaster and just be a mercenary for hire. And I think, I can imagine him just doing that. Right, almost what Canelo is going to be doing now, something similar. Um, by the way, there was an awful, I can't remember the name, Franco, I think it is, versus Maloney in the fight before. I don't know if you guys have watched the actual card. I bought it. <laughs> I actually did buy it. 
Um, um, and basically, there was um, a claim that there was a headbutt, so the fight was stopped. Round, I can't even remember, guys, sorry, but the fight was stopped anyway. I think it might have been around three or four. And um, the referee at the time uh, classed it as an accidental headbutt, and thus, what's the guy's name? I don't want to get this wrong. I keep saying Franco, it might not be, sorry. Um, I think it's rude for me to just completely get his name wrong. Yeah, it's Franco. I think it is. Yeah, it is Franco. All right, so... Um, is it Franco? Yeah. So it was ruled as an accidental headbutt. Franco got, got to keep the belts. Obviously, then there was a bit of hoo-ha because it clearly wasn't an accidental headbutt. So they went into what... Let's just call it VAR, right? They went into VAR and took what was about 30 minutes to make... Basically, watching it over and over and over again. Now... That's okay if you get to the right decision. If you get to the right decision, then you get to the right decision. They still got to the wrong decision. They still said it was an accidental clash of heads twice. They said there were two possible headbutts, possible. And there wasn't. I, I was watching it and thinking, there was never a headbutt, not once. And that was a shame. And you could see Maloney was in tears after in the interview. But I'm uh, so disappointing. But yeah, that happened as well on the card. And that's just, um, that's just shocking. Uh, very, very shocking. All right, let's run through um, a bit of news as well. I'm still so upset about Kelbrook, you know. Still so upset. But let's run through a bit of news. Dave Allen um, has surprisingly announced his retirement. I don't know where this has come from, but he's announced his retirement. Um, he was supposed to fight on the uh, Conor Ben of Sebastian. Is it Sebastian Formia card? I don't know who against, but he was supposed to fight on that card. Remember, he was supposed to fight on the... Um, Chizora Usyk, uh, until his opponent, uh, Lovejoy, got pulled by Don King. So he was, you know, very much considering fighting in the last sort of four or five weeks. He's had a conversation, I think he said, with his sister. And he no longer wants to be punched in the head. He no longer wants to have boxing. He just wants to, you know, be there for his, um, I think, his girlfriend and his kids. He's bought a couple of houses. He's OK. Get in, rich, get rich, get out. That's my phrase, right? Get in, get rich, get out. He's not got super rich, but he's made enough. He's made more than he could have ever expected. And he thinks, you know what, why do this? Why do it? And um, good decision, I think. Like, he still could have made a bit of money because I think there are some fun fights out there for him. But um, maybe just thinking, no. I no longer want to be a punching bag um, for the pleasure of us. Right? He wants to live his life. He's made some money. Go ahead and live your life, my friend. Sorry, I know noise when I'm drinking tea. Um... There was something I was going to do. Yeah, Katie Taylor card. Let's have a quick butchers on it very quickly. Katie Taylor beat uh, Miriam Gutierrez, right? Dominant performance. I mean, Gutierrez, though, fucking hell. How stiff was she? Like, she's hard, I get it, you're tough. But man, she was awful. Awful. And I don't want to take credit away from Katie Taylor. That's wrong. But from the first sort of what, 10 seconds when Katie Taylor put it on her, she just stiffened and that was it. She was gone, mentally gone and she was awful. But no, it's not Katie Taylor's fault. It was a mandatory. She got rid of, she got rid of her mandatory. Um, and now what next? Some people were talking about the likes of Chantel Cameron. Uh, we've heard about the winner of McCaskill versus uh, Cecilia Bracus. Um, Eddie Hearn even mentioned the likes of Cyborg and Natasha Jonas, Terry Harper stepping up. There are options. I don't know... If, she wants, obviously, legacy and super fights. I don't know what of those are super fights. The only one that's a super fight is if Cecilia Bracus retains her belts or gets her belts back, sorry, and they have a catchweight fight at, like, 140 or something. That's a super fight because there's going to be, like, fucking 20 belts on show. That's a super fight. All the others, Cyborg crossing over, no. When Cyborg... Look, before Cyborg got smashed by Amanda Nunes, possibly. Amanda Nunes, maybe? But Chantel Cameron isn't a legacy fight. She, she, as much as people are saying, yeah, Chantel Cameron, it's not a legacy fight. And that's the issue for her. So um, we'll see what happens with her next. She's going to fight early next year, no doubt. Maybe March next year. We'll see who it is. May, it might be another mandatory because she's got so many bloody belts. Uh, Terry Harper uh, got the win uh, stoppage over uh, Catherine, uh, Catherine Fanders. Um, we really should be seeing Harper-Jonas rematch. We'll see. Jonas obviously ringside yesterday. Rachel Ball beat... Um, Guanini, it wasn't supposed to be Guanini, was it? It was supposed to be that um, Australian fighter. So I wonder if they're going to do Rachel Ball versus her. 
um, for the full world title, we'll see. I can't lie to you, I can't stand the two minute rounds in female boxing. I can't stand it. But you know, congratulations to Sky and Matchroom for putting this fight on, um, on YouTube. Um, when I was watching it, it was something like 100,000 100, people were watching it. I think it's got like half a million views in total. And again, this is a card headlined by females. So that sounds something. Uh, Cash Farouk uh, looks good, Farouk. Very much, it's like he's, what, he's very American. So he's not European in his style at all. Uh, lacks a punch though. Lacks a punch. I mean, he hit his opponent with everything. Couldn't get rid of him. That, that's a bit of a concern, I think. And uh, well done to Jack Cullen as well, who got the win over the then unbeaten Joan Doherty. Um, what was a super middleweight fight. Good, good on good on Jack Cullen, who's been taking the fights recently. So congrats to him. All right, let's see if there's any other stories before we um, before we wrap today's uh, today's show. Um, I don't think there's much. No, it's really all just dominated. Let's go back a couple of days. But most of it's just dominated by... Um, by uh, Kelbrook and um, Terence Crawford. No, that's it. Uh, short and sweet today. Peace.